Hey there, Kenny Harper here. And in this video, I'm talking about how to maximize marketing and sales results. Welcome to Growth Amplifiers, where we showcase the best tips, resources, and tools to amplify and scale your business. You know, it's a busy world out there and you can get overwhelmed with all the changes in marketing, all the technology, the AI, the apps. It can be nuts. <laughs> but good thing is you don't need to do everything under the sun. You just need to get really focused. And we're going to start off by making sure you have clear and aligned goals. So sometimes we can have a goal and it's kind of like uh, we want to grow or we want to improve the average value of a customer or we want to reduce the time spent doing something. But if it's not clearly written out, if it's not shared with your team and everyone's not aligned, then chances are we're not going to hit the same target. So then once you have clearly aligned goals, you know what you want to achieve. Now it's time to document your customer journey. Now this is the way that you're going to get your message in front of your ideal customers and then seemingly and subtly guide prospects to become customers that pay, stay, and refer. That is, a, you want it documented so you can do it consistently, just like following a recipe. And then the tools and tactics. You need the tools and tactics to get the job done. If you're painting a wall, you wouldn't want to use a hammer. It would smash up the wall. But if you're trying to hammer in a nail, you wouldn't use a paintbrush, right? You gotta have the right tools for the job at hand. And then you want to make sure that you're measuring the right metrics. Here's the thing, technology makes data so available, it's easy to look We've got all this analytics. Looking at too many numbers in a dashboard could be overwhelming and just really block you from getting focused. So instead, you want to get really clear on which metrics will influence and predict the result and then hone in your your energy and focus to taking the actions to improve those metrics. And then obviously you want to review your progress from time to time and revise. So let me share with you what worked for us following this process. So at Growth Amplifiers, we knew that we wanted to increase our clients who are business advisors, especially in the financial space. So like CPAs, CFOs, accountants, bookkeepers, etc. And we realized, man, we could run a lot of ads. We could try to create a lot of content and hope they find us. Or we can purposefully engage with our ideal prospects identify who they are and engage with them directly and excite them by sharing how we can help them transform and amplify their business. If they can see that for themselves and see how we've helped others, then they can ascend with us. We can create it to where they're getting a good return on investment and growing their business. And it, it makes sense. It creates a win-win. So one of the strategies we've used is doing the podcast interview. So we identify who our ideal prospects are. We invite them to be on our podcast. We authentically want to hear from them. We want to know what their challenges are. We want to know more about their mindsets and what their goals are. We learn about their business and we provide value to them when they're engaging with us. We share some resources. We offer an opportunity to coordinate breakthrough. And in those breakthrough sessions, we don't try to push anything on anyone. We simply identify where are their blind spots that they may not realize they have. Where are the bottlenecks that could be holding them back? And what are some untapped opportunities that if they untap them would have a big impact on their business? Because regardless of who you are, if you're in your own business, you can't see it with a fresh perspective. Now, the reason we do that is that helps us build a relationship with them, get to understand them and their business. Sometimes that leads to introductions right then and there. But the other benefit is it lets us share the value we provide. Sometimes the people that we connect with, they may need the help of getting their message out there or increasing the lifetime value of a customer. And we earn business that way. But sometimes they don't need that help, but they may know somebody who does. And so because we've helped them and we've given them a good experience, they're more likely to make an introduction. So this has led for us to more ideal clients because we're not just seeing who's ringing and who's trying to survive, finding us on the internet. We're going proactively to the people that we wanna have relationships with and engaging with them. And it's also led to more referrals, more ideal referrals, because when you're going and connecting with your ideal customers, you're gonna attract more people like that. So that's what's worked for us, but I'm curious to know what are the amplifier actions that you put into business to make sure that you're maximizing your ROI from marketing and sales. Love to see your thoughts. Please share. To show your support, take a moment to amplify this message by sharing it online. To connect with me or gain more business growth insights, visit www.growthamplifiers.com. Thank you for your support.